Hello Dicers, my dream chasers, welcome back to Dice Decides, so uh, is this ready? Yeah, <laughs> that was my last wheat, I'm not planting anymore because I am done, I'm ready to fight the Ender Dragon, okay guys? Uh, I have a lot of bows, I have a lot of arrows, I should be good. <laughs> Let's see, and yeah, I have enough Eyes of Ender. That's it. I only needed four more. I know where the stronghold is. This is it. I'm bringing that. Chainmail leggings. I don't know. It's just mobs drop random stuff. Anyway. Yeah, I was going to do something. Uh, I have something in mind. I have this. Smithing template. Uh, so I guess I can improve my iron chest. Plate. So like that, like that, and like that. And then I get eye armor trim. How is that an upgrade? Is that better? It's still plus six armor. Is that better? I don't need, I don't... What if I add two or... Can I use gold? Or diamond? I gotta test everything. <laughs> so, that, that, and then... Aha! Diamond material. Yeah, that's what I should do. Or is gold better? Or... Oh. Well, I guess I made it. In gold. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that, but alright. I got a... <laughs> okay, is that just for looks? I guess it looks cool. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, this is it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I have been... Getting ready for so long. It does take a while. I don't know how people speed run this. So many chickens here. This place reminds me of my chicken volcano place. <laughs> Do you guys remember my chicken volcano? <laughs> uh, good times. Man, you can jump by <laughs> really fast. Nice. And oh, you missed. Take this. <laughs> found it. I found it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we are. Do not mess us up. Okay. All right. Do we just jump in? All right, let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, the end? Um... Okay, so I'm just like on this platform. I'm glad I didn't store all my cobblestone. I need to. Is that an Enderman? I can't just. This is weird. I guess I need to get up there. Oh no! There's the dragon! <laughs> this is it, guys. Look. Oh, it's coming, isn't it? Please. I'm not ready yet. Please, don't do this. I'm trying to get over. Okay. Okay, I got a better pickaxe, come on. Don't do this. This is scary, guys! This is scary! I've never done this! Uh, okay. Okay, I got this. Finally. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you, dragon! I'm gonna fight you! Ah, okay! Okay. How do you do this? Oh my god, there's plenty of endermen? Don't look at them. Don't look at them. How do I do this exactly? With a bow, right? Uh, right, so I need to activate some of these or let it burn itself or how does this work? Um, no, I didn't look at you. I did not look at you. Oh my God, what do you want? I didn't know there were endermen here.
Frick it, heck. I guess I accidentally looked at him. All right. Uh, so how do I... I've seen some videos about this. I haven't... I don't know. I didn't dig too deeply into it, what people are doing. Do I need to shoot at these things or what? Do I just shoot at it? Oh, it's attacking the Enderman. What the heck? <laughs> They're attacking it? What is happening? <laughs> I didn't know there were Endermen here. This is weird. Come back. Do I shoot these things? Oh, I need to explode them when it's near. Are you healing? Come on. Ow, what the? <laughs> okay, do not step in that. What is happening? Hit this? What? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Okay, from the back. From the back, from the back. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It just heals. This is so weird. Okay, I need to... Oh no. Get him, Edderman, get him. What do you want from me? One just attacks? Oh no. Hello, guys. Uh, I heard this is good. That's good to defend me. All right. You stupid! Ah! What do you want? You can't step on water, silly! You can't do it! Uh oh. Dragon is not coming for me, no, it's fine. Ow! What?! What the heck?! The dragon did come for me! That was crazy! Well, good thing I got my bed here, so it's not too far to go and get my stuff. That was pretty insane, actually. Where where that came from? No! Whoa! <laughs> Bottom up! Okay, I need to get up. I guess I can shoot. Shoot it! Higher! <laughs> can't hit it! I can't hit it! There we go. Whoa! Not today, sir. Not today. Are we going up here, or...? No, 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 I didn't mean to look at you. I did not mean to do that. Got you good. <laughs> All right, I'm determined. <laughs> we got this. Uh, oh. Oh, nice explosion. Why am I carrying wheat? Ow. Down we go. With water? Okay, so I destroyed that one. Next. Uh, I'd rather do it from the back. No! Oh, gee, man. No! Oh! Oh my god, dude! Frick! What the heck? <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad my stuff doesn't dis disappear. DIS? No, it doesn't disappear. Where the heck's my bucket? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Great. Okay. Well. Uh, ah, diamond leggings. Why do I have blue dye? <laughs> All right. No. Oh, it's easier to shoot from here. No, no, no! Ow! No! 
Ah! Oh. <laughs> well, at least I fell down. That's kind of good, I guess. Oh, hello, Enderman. Hello. No, Enderman, please. Oh, come on, man. Freaking Enderman. They mean to look at you. I need to always look down as if I'm looking down in shame. Oh, that's so high up. I need to be up there, I think. Get up. Further away. How did that damage the dragon? Oh, did I do all of them? All right, I guess we're ready to damage it. Come here, buddy. Take this. Oh, I missed. Take this. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Just wasting arrows. Oh, is it being damaged by Enderman? <laughs> oh, it's going on. I think I should get down. Or should it? Whoa! You missed! <laughs> Alright, we go now. <clears throat> we go down. We go down. I guess the dragon is a little hurt. Oh. Ow, what? No! What? How the heck did it launch me like <laughs> into nowhere? Bruh. There, I completely lost everything. Damn it. There's no way I could get back anything there. Oh, no. Um. Well, great. Not great. Oh, no. That was crazy. I destroy the crystals, at least. <laughs> it's just ender pearls I dropped. Oh. No, it's just endermen dying? <laughs> That's it. Ow. <laughs> I killed myself with ender pearls. <laughs> Oh, there was no way I could have even damaged the dragon. I have brought iron. I don't even have ways to melt iron. All right, guys. So we got a zombie here who's uh, just uh oh stuck in this jail. Hello? Zombie. Hello. Hey there, zombie. Need to release him from the jail because uh, I got a little surprise I want to show you guys. Come here, zombie. Come here. Yeah, right here, right here. Get him, Fox! Get him! Get him! <laughs> I got a Fox Defender! Yeah, good job, Fox! <laughs> I gave my Fox, I mean, I have a Fox, and I gave him uh, a sword. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Kevin. Kevin the Fox. I just, this is so cool, I have a Fox now. <laughs> Uh, it's so cool because they like berries and so if you just feed them some berries They'll help you out uh, If you want the fox to drop whatever it's holding to give him a sword or something uh, you can just drop a berry like that and He'll drop the sword and eat the berry look at it. Kevin is not hungry right now <laughs> Oh There he goes there he goes and he drops a sword I actually do need the sword um, so, um, yeah, he's eating the berry now. Eating the berries. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, I also got an iron pickaxe with fortune, 
which is so cool. I love that ability because whenever you mine something, you get you have a chance of getting more than just one ore. Oh, he's got the sword again. <laughs> yeah, you can keep that. I have plenty of swords in case I die, which I probably will, while fighting the dragon. All right, that's it. I, I'm ready. I'm not gonna bring the good stuff because I probably will die. I got a cool bow now. Don't really want to lose that. Dice D's dragon bow. Anything else I don't want to, oh, I actually got a sword already. <laughs> I got plenty of enchanted books. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. All right, that's it, we're going in. We're going in. See, the dragon doesn't heal anymore. I should be fine, this shouldn't even be that difficult. We're gonna do this. All right, dragon, I'm ready for you. Boom. Oh, there's always one enderman that attacks me. Stupid. Oh, what? Come on, I didn't even get to the dragon. <laughs> Freaking heck, man. How many hits does an enderman take? Come on, ender dragon. Just... Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't be close to it when it flies away. It stays there for a bit, I guess. Oh! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Hello, Enderman. Alright, apparently it's good to hit the head. But I can't... Oh, I can't go here. This is Dragon Breath. Ah, no! <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's it. I'm bringing my... Dra <laughs> Dice D's Dragon Bow. <laughs> Let's go. What? Oh, that's so few arrows, but okay. And a sword, obviously. And, uh... Yeah, we're ready. That's it, dragon. I'm after you. I'm after you now. Yo, we get some! Shoot you right in the head. Oh, what? He just blocked it? What? I can't shoot it when it's right there. Just blocks it. I can shoot it now, I think. <laughs> oh, what? Dang, the freaking breath. <laughs> I hit it a little bit. What's good, Kevin? Good. All right, well, I mean, we've hit it a little bit. <laughs> I just need to keep shooting it, I think. Or attack from behind. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what? My stuff. From the back. I can't hit it. Yes, hit it. Okay, it's gonna fly off. Get the bow ready. Boom! Got a nice shot there. Dice D's dragon bow. <laughs> Get him again. Boom, 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 boom. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, no! Ah. <laughs> well, I got some nice damage in. Not, not doing too bad. Got plenty of swords. I'm ready to go again. What's good, Kevin? <laughs> What's good? All right. We're over halfway. Let's go. We can do this. <laughs> I'm ready for some more. Are you? Are you ready? You ready? 
<laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, Alright. Boom, 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 Let's go! <laughs> I'm about to complete Minecraft. About to complete Minecraft! Got him! <laughs> Alright, he's almost dead. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Ah. He broke my head! I mean, my <laughs> helmet. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, hitting the head is great. All right, last hit. All right. Got to hit it with the bow. Are you ready to die, dragon? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do I can't do it now. He's going to deflect it, but when he's done floating over that, you are done. You are so done, mate. You are so done. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Come on. You're done. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's dead. Oh, yeah. What is this? All the XP. Oh my gosh, I'm level 50. 60. 65. I've never been such high level. 67. 68. Okay, well, what is this? Do I just jump in? What is this? What the heck? I understand. <laughs> what are you? Do I just jump in? Ah. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> I freaking did it! Man. I see the player you mean, Dice decides. <laughs> yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water, it dreamed of it created. And it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted it was and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha! The original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world in a fold of the <laughs> and created a <laughs> for <laughs> in the <laughs> It cannot read that though. <laughs> nope. 
It has not yet achieved the highest level that it must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it, that the universe is kind? Sometimes, though the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in the long dream, it creates worlds that have no summer and it shivers under a black sun and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. <laughs> Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is merely <laughs> and <laughs> I wish to tell them that they are <laughs> in the <laughs> <laughs> they see so little of reality in their long dream. And yet they play the game, but it would be so easy to tell them to strong for this dream, to tell them how to live, to prevent them living, I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Dice decides. Player of games. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Take a breath now. <sighs> Take another. <sighs> Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity and air, respawn in the long dream. There you are, your body touching the universe again at every point as though you were separate things, as though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain, father, son, fa mother, moon, Ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, the gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. The words change, we do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes. And why does the universe touch your skin and throw light on you? To see you, player, to know you and to be known. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time there was a player. The player was you. Dice decides. <laughs> Sometimes it thought itself human. On the thin crust of spinning globe of molten rock, the ball of molten rock circled a ball of glazing blazing gas that was 330,000 times more massive than it is and it was so part of life. It took 8 minutes to cross the gap in light information from a star and could burn your skin from 150 million kilometers away. Sometimes the player dreamed it was a miner, the surface of the world that was flat, infinite, and the sun was square white, and the days were short, there were much to do, the death was temporary and convenient. Sometimes the player dreamed that it was lost in a story, sometimes the player dreamed that it was other things in other places, sometimes the dreams were disturbing, sometimes very beautiful indeed. Sometimes the pl player woke from one dream into another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it watched words on a screen. Let's go back. The atoms of the player were scattered in the grass, in the rivers, in the air, in the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body in the long dream and the player was a new story never told before written in letters of dna and the player was a new program never run before generated by a source code a billion years old and the player was a new human never alive before made from nothing but milk and love you are the player the story the program the human made from nothing but milk and love let's go further back the seven billion 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 <laughs> atoms of the player's body were created long before this game in the heart of star and so the player too is information from a star and the player moves through the story which is forest of information planted by a man named Julian on a flat infinite world created by a man named Marcus and that exists inside a small private world created by the player who inhabits a universe created by Shush. Sometimes the player created a small private world that was soft and warm and simple, sometimes hard but cold and complicated. Sometimes it built a model universe that's head flux energy through the vast empty space. Sometimes it flex electrons and protons. Sometimes it's called them pl planets and stars. Sometimes I believe it was a universe that was made of energy. It was made of Offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code. Sometimes you believe it was playing a game. Sometimes you believe it was reading words on a screen. You are the player, reading words. Shush. Sometimes the player read lines of code on a screen, des decoded them into words, decoded words into meaning, decoded meaning into feelings, emotions, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive, and those thousand deaths was not. It was been real. The player was alive. You, you, you are alive. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves of the summer trees and sometimes I can't read this fast man I'm tired <laughs> oh, what the heck is happening is
Is this automatically generated or something? <laughs> the, the credits are endless? The universe said everything you need is within you. And the universe said I love you because you are love. And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream, and the player began a new dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better. And the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. <laughs> These credits. Crazy. Mojang Studios. Studios leadership. Wow, what a game, dude. What a game. I, uh, man. I'm so happy. Like, I really wanted to be able to say, I have completed Minecraft. <laughs> now I can say this. I, I've completed Minecraft. That's so cool. I don't think everyone has. I mean, obviously not everyone has, but I don't know. It's just a lot of people who have played Minecraft haven't completed it. As I was trying to say. Uh, it's so cool, though, to actually, you know, complete it. It's so fun. Like, I learned so much while doing so. Because you have to go through this whole process of collecting, you know, ender pearls, blaze rods, you know. And not just that, like, you have to actually <laughs> situate yourself. Uh, around the stronghold like you have to because I created the stronghold into my home Because if you die once you have to have a bed next to it to respawn right next to it because you're not gonna <laughs> Run all that distance to stronghold again. And anyway, it was just it's just so cool because I uh, I learned how to Enchant stuff in a good way. I uh, You know, like I said, I got that uh, Fortune ability on my pickaxe is so fun to just mine something and get more than just one block, one iron ore, for example. Or just coal, like, from one place you find coal and you get like 40 or 30 or something. <laughs> it's just so fun, like... So, just so many things about this game, just so nice. Huh. <sighs> yeah, I love Minecraft, it's so good. But, um, that's it, I've completed it, I can move on with my life. <laughs> <laughs> Play something else. Um, that doesn't mean I'll never come back to Minecraft. Not at all. But um, yeah, it's been a long journey. I started this playthrough uh, in... Was it 2022? Or start of 23? Yeah, a long time ago. Over a year ago. <laughs> anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was fun. It was a fun journey. I'll miss you, Kevin. I'll miss you. So after the credits, am I able to go back? I don't know these things. Is it finished? Is this world over? <laughs> Is that how it works? I think so. <laughs> I've completed it. Man, that was... For me, it was like a, it was a bit of a mental game. Cause you know, you keep thinking, oh, like, oh, I can't, I can't do that. That's too hard. That's too, you know, time intensive or whatever, you know. Uh, I kept thinking like, oh, I should do other things. You know, this is too hard. It's not worth it. You know, the biggest hurdle is always ourselves. With anything we do in life, it's we who get in our own way the most. I mean, who else? <laughs> uh, it's so worth it to stick to something and just complete it, finishing things. And this could be anything, not just video games. Like, actually committing to finishing a book, even if you don't, like, really enjoy it, I still find so much fulfillment just completing something. It truly is worth it to just stick to it and just complete it. Uh, 
yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'll end this video now, so hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to gently tap on the like button, ring that bell so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching, Dicers. Hope you have a fantastic yesterday. I will see you next time. And the <laughs> game is not actually complete. Well, it is, but I can't play more here. This world is not gone for me, is what I meant. <sighs> it's good to see you again, Kevin. I freaking did it. All right, see you guys.